Hi, this is Federico with Cuddle, and this is a quick video answering a question that was submitted to us about how to make a box with finger joints that doesn't have a top and doesn't have a bottom. And so I'm going to show you how to modify one of our templates to make that happen. So here I'm on the templates page and I'm going to scroll down and I want to uh, make a modification on the open box with finger joints, which is one of our free templates. So I'm going to click on it to open it. And then I'm going to open it in the Cuddle editor, which is going to uh, let me make some edits. So I'm going to click on this button to get started. And um, very importantly, I want to make a copy of this project to my own projects. So I can click here where it says copy this project. And this is going to create a copy that is private. And this is going to retain all the changes that I make. And I'm going to rename it just for um, organization. So I'm going to call it box, uh, no, bottom for now. Um, and so I need to show you how this works so we can make those changes. So the structure of this template is that we have this uh, cut layout, we have this assembly view, and each one of the parts of the box is separated into a different component. So if I look at the front here, that's one component, the back is another one, the left is another one, and the right and the bottom. And so each one of these is using some of the parameters specified here, the width, the depth, and the height specifically. And of course, the material thickness and the curve for the finger joints. So let's look at the way the front is structured. So if you look at it, the front is actually a rectangle to which this modifier replace edges has been applied. So if I were to uh, disable the replace edges modifier, you'll see that it just turns into a rectangle. And this rectangle responds to the uh, width and the depth, sorry, it only responds to the width and the height, because that's, that's all it that matters for that particular rectangle. And the way replace edges operates is that, let me enable it again. Um, the way that operates is that it replaces the edges for the appropriate uh, types of finger joints. So if we look at the edges here, there is, um, there is a correspondence. So this line corresponds to this edge, this finger joints outer corresponds to this edge, this one to the next one, and this one to the next one. Um, that's a little arrows, but if I, if I make any changes to one of them, you'll see how they change. So for example, if I, instead of finger joints outer here, right line, you'll see how this edge has been now replaced for a line. And that applies to all the other sections. So I was just doing it on the front. So you'll see how the front here now doesn't have, you know, doesn't have the appropriate uh, connection to the right. So this is not what we want to do. What we want to do is actually uh, replace all the, uh, all the bottom sections of each one of the front, the left, the right, and the back. And so let's go back and do that. So I'm going to uh, replace this one for what it was before, which is finger joints outer. Um, as you can see, there are like two types of finger joints. There is one called outer and the other one called just finger joints. And the idea with that is that you need to match one to the other. Um, so if we look at here, this section is matching the section. So let's make all the changes for the box that we want. So I'm going to go to the front and select the replace edges modifier. And I want to turn these into a line. So that means I need to choose this one and write line. So that turned into a line. Then I need to go to the back and do the same. I need to turn this one into just a line. So it's the, I can count is one, two, three. So one, two, three. That one is a line. Then the left. I just need to click replace edges. So this one is a line. And the right, replace edges. This one is a line. And we don't need the bottom. Um, so actually, I can go here in the cut layout. And the cut layout is giving me the front, the left, the back, the right, and the bottom. So I can actually just change it here and um, get rid of the bottom part. Um, this is using a, a specific component called auto layout that just aggregates all the all the other components that you tell it to. So I'm going to delete the bottom one, 
and that should just give me these. So if I go back to the readme, um, I can see that I only get the parts that I want, but all the other parameters are still functional. So if, if I choose the different width and depth and height, that all works. I could also change the material thickness if I need to, and of course the curve compensation. So I think this is the way you can create that box that has no top or bottom. Um, I'm still gonna publish this uh, these modified template in case you wanna just make the box right away. Um, but now you know how to modify this particular one. All right, I hope this helps.